Welcome back, Chiefs fans, to over 50. So this week, the conference championship will play, be played in Arrowhead Stadium for a fourth year in a row. So Mahomes has been a starter for four years, and every year he's been a starter. He's hosted the AFC championship game. So I thought I'd take a look at some stats here, try to keep this video short and sweet for you. Looking at the NFL offensive right rankings from StatMuse, Kansas City has the third best offense. We kind of you know, knew their offense was good coming in. And Cincinnati is ranked all the way down here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they have the 13th best offense. Chiefs have the third best offense. Um, I'm not doubting that Jamar Chase is a good player, but, I mean, just overall, this offensive line for – this offensive line let Joe Burrow get sacked nine times last week. So I think if Kansas City plays zone – and not man-to-man, -man, especially not man-to-man -man on third and 27, Kansas City can win this game. I went ahead and pulled up the stats from the previous game because Tennessee, with the exception of two plays, they played zone against the Cincinnati Bengals. And if you look here at the stats for Jamar Chase, I'm going to highlight it for you, then I'm going to take it off so you can see where I'm looking at. Six targets, five receptions, 109 yards, but the big key here is no touchdowns. So if Kansas City decides to play more zone, I think they're going to be able to get home and be able to get to Joe Burrow because that offensive line is not very good. Now, I'm not saying the Bengals aren't good. The Bengals would not be in the AFC Championship game if they were a bunch of scrubs. I mean, if the Steelers were in the AFC Championship game, then you could make that argument, and I wouldn't be able to argue it at all. If you look at defensive stats for the year, Kansas City comes in with the eighth best defense, so it's been improved tremendously over the course of the year. But look down here at number 17, Cincinnati. So I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I've seen the over-under at 54 and a half. If I was a betting person, um, I would take the over because I could see this game being 30 to 27 very easily. And that right there is 57 points. So if I was betting on this, I would take the over. Um, the one last thing I wanted to mention here before we go is there's a lot of talk about the Chiefs and, you know, uh, Tyron Matthew and whether or not he's going to play. So I had this pulled up and here we go. All right. So now it's going to let me scroll. So it was reported by a lot of places that Tyron Matthew has not practiced this week, he's, he hasn't cleared concussion protocol. I don't think he is fully cleared concussion protocol, but he has practiced. He had a full practice today, and I think that's huge. Now, granted, concussions can go either way. You know, you can one minute you can be looking good, and then you wake up the next day and you take two steps back. So I see Tyron Matthew with a full practice. I see that as a good sign. Uh, it's also good to see Rashawn, Rashad Fenton has had two full practices back-to-back -back on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday will be the key day here. If Matthew and Fenton both have full practice sessions, I see them both playing. The only player that did not have a full practice today was Daryl Williams. And I don't want to – I'm not going to say Daryl Williams isn't important, but you can't deny that Jarek McKinnon has been a huge spark to the Kansas City offense. Clyde looked good coming back off his injury. So I think Kansas City and, you know, they've got Derek Gore, you know, who has shown that he's capable of carrying the rock too. So I could see Kansas City, they look pretty good coming into the game from an injury standpoint. The only Bengal that I see that might have an issue playing this week would be Cam Sample, who's dealing with the groin. No practice on Wednesday, did not practice on Thursday. Uh, Stanley Morgan was limited. He's a wide receiver. He's got a nurse and a hamstring. And uh, Josh uh, Tupo, I guess that's how you say it, he was limited both days with a knee. But you can see Joe Burrow, Trey Higgins, and Keandre Jones, both full or all three were full practice participants. So that's what I got for you so far. I'll keep you updated on any other news, but this is going to be a game. I think it's going to be high scoring. It's going to be a fun game. A fun game to watch, but we all saw with the Grim Reaper, and I love that new, I love that new nickname for Patrick Mahomes. We also with the Grim Reaper did in 13 seconds. So, thank you, Buffalo, 
from not squib kicking the ball or pooch punting it, pooch kicking it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thank you for playing a soft defense, Leslie Frazier. Um, you just took yourself out of any kind of head coaching um, consideration. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. So, uh, Chiefs fans, take it easy. Take care of yourselves. And uh, as always, go Chiefs.